What's up everybody, this is Jesse from SoCal Digital Repair. Just want to make a quick video on this new power supply tool I've been using, DT880, that anyone can use for troubleshooting logic boards. Okay, so basically what this is, is a portable uh, DC power supply that also gives you the voltage and the amps. So it's very, uh, very easy to use compared to your standard DC power supply. The way it works is you power it uh, through a USB you plug it into up here to the micro USB port or you can just plug this in directly but I like the cable then the output goes into uh, a logic board so there are different cables for the different models um, alright so now I have an iPhone 6 this is an actual uh, problematic board it was sent to me by a shop um, has no power so now let's see what happens when I click the power button as you can see, I only click power and we're getting a 2 amp draw um, via the device. I haven't pushed uh, test because I didn't need to power it on. You can already see it's drawing power. So um, it actually is causing so much power draw, it, it resets this device. So let's uh, check that out again. So you can see that that is not normal. So. Let's see, maybe I could show you an example. Now let me show you what we can even do with this tool. So using some compressed air, you spray it upside down on the logic board. Just, and then you click power. So now we get the power draw. And then we could take a look to see what gets hot. And there it is. The shorted capacitor. Okay, so I've actually removed the shorted capacitor from the board, so it should be fixed now. So, as you can see, it's pretty simple to use. You just plug it in to the board. Essentially, it's a battery connection and a charging port connection. And then now let's see what happens. When I click power, nothing happens. You get the 4 volts, but you get 0 amps. Now that's good. So now if you click test, this prompts to boot. Let's see if it looks like it's booting. Okay. Yep, there it goes, going higher. So it should be good. Let me attach the screen real quick. Okay, so now I have a screen attached. And then, oh, let's see what happens. So we click power. So it's sitting at zero amps. And we click test to turn it on and we should see an Apple logo. There you go. So as you noticed, um, this whole time I didn't have a screen attached. And um, I, I feel like this number tells you a lot more uh, about the device behavior than having a screen attached. Of course, the screen will tell you if it's working, but the numbers don't lie. So you can see the numbers are going up higher and higher and we should get a lock screen any second now. Yeah, there we go. No, not that. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Device is working. And this uh, DT880 really helped us out. All right, that's it. That was a quick overview of the DT880 DC power supply. It's very handy. I would highly recommend any repair shop has this. Uh, even if you don't do micro soldering or logic board uh, repairs, you'll right away tell if there's a problem. Um, anyone can use it. Just plug it in, power it on, and see what happens. I have a link down below in the description on where to buy one. Uh, do you guys have any tools like this you'd like to use? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll check them out, and maybe I'll make a video. I do plan on making more stuff like this, so sure we'll like your feedback. Alright, see you around.